Next time, just take your own cup. Meanwhile, 25 minutes after the top of the hour, classroom controversy flaring up in Denton, Texas. Students from uh, learning from a book, a textbook, with a skewed view on American history. Here's how this book defines the Second Amendment. Quote, the people have the right to keep and bear arms in a state militia. So you can only have guns in a state militia? Uh, join us right now, a former member of the Texas State Board of Education, Cynthia Dunbar. Cynthia, welcome. Good morning, Steve. Uh, they, they got that pretty wrong, didn't they? Oh, absolutely. But I have to say, I'm always shocked when people are shocked, as though this is one example of a bad textbook or bad curriculum in a sea of really good. Uh, this is a per pervasive battle that we fight all the time, where they pervert the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration. The Second Amendment is clearly not about just having a um, military being able to bear arms. It's right. an individual right. Sure, and the way that particular textbook makes it sound, it makes it sound like you can have a gun if you're in a state militia, when in fact the Second Amendment reads a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, there's the state part, right. uh, the right of the people to right. keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Cynthia, what, what's going on? And because this is not an isolated incident. No, it's not. And when I was on the state board, we fought it pertaining to the First Amendment rights. I mean, there is a pervasive agenda to rewrite our American history. And there's a reason why. Abraham Lincoln was credited with saying the philosophy in the schoolroom in one generation becomes a philosophy of the government in the next. We have an attack on the Second Amendment in the classroom, in textbooks, and teaching them that they don't have an individual right for resistance and uh, self-preservation. And so then it's not coincidental that we have Governor Jay Nixon in Missouri vetoing some of the strongest Second Amendment legislative um, efforts by a state to preserve right. Second Amendment rights. Sure. And uh, meanwhile, the uh, independent school district of Denton, Texas, uh, when asked why they can, you know, screwed up the Second Amendment so much, they say, well, the textbook in question is a supplement instructional aid and not the official textbook for any history classes. I understand they use uh, a much more popular, widely used uh, textbook. I think it's called uh, American Pageant or something like that in that particular thing. But nonetheless, if the backup book says it the wrong way, eventually that's going to wind up in some heads and you can't be happy with that. No, and they're doing it because of the AP history test, and we have to see this nationalized, socialized education agenda from the top down, um, and then this effort because of AP history tests, we're going to teach the students the wrong thing about the Second Amendment. There's really a big question about that. I have to say, jumping over to what's going on in Congress right now, you know, I'm applauding Senator Cruz and those who are standing up to preserve our constitutional liberties, put some money and rights back in the hands of the people. I don't think they've gone too far. If anything, I would have liked them to defund not only Obamacare, but Obamacore through the unconstitutional Department of Education. Whoa. But the silver lining to all of this is, uh, yeah, I think they need to stand up to the threats of Harry Reid and say, you know, we could have gone further and should have gone further. But right. basically the silver lining is we have this bad curriculum. The good news is it's causing schools and educators and parents alike to realize we have this problem through socialized education and look at options like the Liberty Online Academy offering sound, historically accurate curriculum. Cynthia Dunbar, you wound up at two for today. We booked you on textbooks and we wound up at Obamacare. All right, we thank you very much for joining us live today from Northern Virginia. Thank you. All right.